So I got involved in a discussion on Twitter of um, self-documenting code versus comments, and uh, it all had to do with, with relating code back to the why it was created. Um, and uh, as I was discussing this, I realized that there's a tool that I just take for granted, um, but that maybe not everyone uses it. Uh, so in my editor, when I'm looking at a file that is, you know, it's part of a project, so it's under under revision control, I can hit a key combination and get a um, an annotated view of that file up. Let me fill the screen with this. And uh, what this has, it what this has done is it has color coded uh, the different lines according to the last revision in which they uh, they were they were changed. And uh, you can see who made the change on the left and the revision number and all that good stuff from Git. And uh, I, can, uh, I can toggle that information off, just go through the file, toggle it back on. Um, and uh, I, can, I can scroll through the history so I can go uh, to a previous revision and take a look at, at what it looked like at that point. And previous, previous, next, next. Uh, go back to my, my current revision. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, and then when I find a change that I'm interested in, I'm like, okay, why was this change made? Then uh, I hit another key, and I can see the, uh, the log message that was associated with that commit. And uh, then if I, wanna, um, if I want, I could see the, uh, the full diff from that commit. Um, if I just want to see the changes, not the whole file. And... Uh, if, and if I want to, I can even visit the uh, I can visit that file at at the time of that commit. So basically, I can sort of instantly travel back in time and see uh, the whole file as it was at that commit. You can see in the in the mode line of the editor, it says builder.rb and then uh, a squiggle and and some numbers indicating the uh, the revision that it's showing me right now. Um, and. Uh, you know, put all this together, and it gives you a really good um, and and very handy view into the story behind any given line of code. Um, I assume that all modern modern editors have a way to do this, uh, either inherently in them or as part of some plugin. Um, if you're using an editor and you're not using this functionality, uh, find out how to do it. If you need some kind of plugin to make to to make this happen, get it. Um, if for some reason the editor you're using cannot do this, I would say drop it like a hot potato and get one that can. Because if you can't easily access the story behind every line of code that that you're looking at, um, you're at a real disadvantage in understanding that code. Um, and and getting this information from the command line is just not enough. It's it's too awkward. You can't just easily pop through the history the way I was just doing. Um, you can't get this nice, you know, the, the colorized view and just pop back to another revision of the file and, and, uh, and instantly bring up the diffs and all that stuff. Um, it's, it's really not good enough. And, and, and honestly, getting it, you know, going online and getting it from GitHub is, is great, but it's still, um, it's still not good enough. Um, it's not a keystroke away. It's not integrated into your editing process. It's not going to be as responsive. It's probably not going to have as many features uh, as your editor can give you um, right there with the you know with the the version control system behind it. And um, you know, and it can't show you how your your local edits or commits fit into into the story. So um, if you're not already doing this, I just strongly recommend that you uh, go find out how to do this in your editor and uh, and learn to do it and uh, become a, a happier. Uh, programmer.